WFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to your 2 p.m. update here from TFNN with me, David White. Uh, S&P's been up, uh, been down, been on kind of all around. Uh, the NASDAQ, of course, has been lower almost all the day. It's down 1.4% uh, as we speak. Uh, but uh, we had uh, kind of a surprise if you're just uh, waking up or uh, just uh, coming to, whichever the case may be. Uh, we had uh, both Google and Microsoft with, and that's kind of put the color on today's market. Uh, other than that, uh, I wasn't expecting a lot, uh, whether we got good earnings or not, uh, in the overall indexes. Uh, we had a lot of people go one way uh, in the Amex, and each morning in the newsletter, I publish uh, uh, the history of that, I mean, the last five days. But generally, when you get fairly low on the uh, Amex, which is mostly uh, the uh, ETFs that retail traders tend to play, it tends to be kind of a, uh, how would you say it? Uh, everybody tends to get on one side of those. But those are all the uh, standard and leveraged ETFs that have been around for a long time. So uh, well, we got down to 0. 0.6, you know, 0. 0.2 pretty much makes a high, but uh, we went from like, uh, I don't know, a three reading on the trend to a 0.6, and my guess is that earlier in the day, we probably had a 0.2 or 0.25 on the Amex uh, for the trend, and that was enough to set the highs. Of course, uh, the bigger issue as I see it uh, is the looming IPO. They did price Mobileye last night. Uh, it's owned by uh, Intel. But, of course, a uh, lot of, uh, of the big uh, titans of Wall Street are in on the deal. Uh, that would uh, price Mobileye at $17 billion, or $17 billion, although they're only going to raise about $400 million. This is called a sliver deal, but uh, probably going to end up uh, making a billion dollars for a lot of those folks that helped it go public. We'll talk about this and more in the show. The reality 